All right, here we go. We have Unit 1, Section 2, Segments and Congruence. So the goal today is to be able to answer questions about segments. When three points are collinear, so here's that vocabulary coming right back at you. So three points are on the same line. You say that the point at one point is between the other two. Now, if that's not the best fact you've heard all day, then boy, I don't know what is. That is a fun fact for you. Um, so if we look at the examples below, we could say that point B is between A and C. That's mind-blowing stuff right here. Um, and the example on the right of that, point E is not between D and F because it's not on the same line. Those three points are not collinear. So the segment addition postulate says that if B is between A and C, then I could take A plus B and B plus C to get the whole segment. The whole segment AC. Ah, see, I told you, we got all kinds of fun stuff happening here today. So we have AB. If I add to that BC, I get the entire segment AC. All right, let's give it a go. So here's an example. Man, is that blurry. Uh, use a diagram to find GH. Now, really, if we're being technical, I should have a line segment thing above that. I want to find segment GH. So if I use a segment addition postulate, I know that FG, this segment here, plus, because it's addition, G. H, which I get, which I'm trying to find. If I add those two together, I'm going to get the entire segment, which it tells me right above here is, um, well, we're using letters here, so I get F H. So if I take F G, the first part plus the second part, I get the entire line segment. So now we can fill in what we know. F G is 21 plus gh i don't know so we can just leave it as gh or you can call it x if you want equals fh the whole segment is 36 21 plus what is going to give me 36 you can treat it like an equation we can subtract 21 or you can just use mental math and you will get the answer gh equals 15 and if there's a unit if it says like 21 inches or 36 inches make sure you include that in your answer um, No units here though. It looks like so we can just say gh is 15 um, Line segments that have the same length are called congruent segments So this word congruent is gonna pop up a lot here this year congruent just means the same um, in the diagram below, you can say the length of AB is equal to the length of CD. So you could say that they're equal, or you can say that AB is congruent to CD. And now here's the symbol. The congruent symbol is the equal sign with a little squiggly above it, if that's how you want to think of it. So you can say either or. So AB is congruent to C D and that's it for segment congruence. But let's take a look at one quick example. So if I have line segment A B and that is 15, and I have line segment C D and that's also 15, I could say one of two things. I could say that line segment A B equals C D because they're the same length, or I could say line segment AB is congruent to CD. And I kind of like writing that little squiggly line, so I'm probably going to go with the second one. But that is it for line segments of the segment addition postulate. Here's an example of using it. And segment congruence is just two segments that are the exact same length.